Hello and welcome back to another video. <laughs> We're going to talk about why 99% of people fail at swimming. The answer is very, very, very simple. There's actually just two reasons why people fail most of the time. Based on years and years of experience, personal experience, me teaching clients from all sorts of backgrounds, from little kids to all the way to adults, to seniors, I've taught pretty much everybody you know on this planet how to swim so I can give you my experience on what the reason is and there's only two reasons the reasons are poor planning and consistency that's it very simple thanks for watching subscribe to this YouTube channel bye bye <laughs> but let me get into it a little bit further first of all let's talk about consistency most people that are new to swimming what do they usually do well usually they swim when it's convenient for them. And when is it convenient? Well, when it's summertime, or when they're on vacation, or when they have access to a pool. Usually, most people do not voluntarily go to a pool to swim for fitness purposes most of the time. No, it's usually people that want to have fun with their friends, play around in the pool with the water, with the kids, with the babies and blah 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 having fun for me and for most other active swimmers we treat the pool like a gym we go there we put in the work and then we leave but most people in general that don't know how to swim they view it as just a playground a place to socialize a place to have fun a place to just chat and relax all that it's like a mall for them right it's like a tourist destination all right, so that's the biggest difference. If you go to the gym, you know that you go probably two, three, five times a week if you are really into fitness like I am. Most new swimmers that come to me for training advice, I ask them their background in swimming. I say, how often do you swim per year? And they probably say, and then they say to me like once a year, like when it's summertime, vacation, and you know, when the weather's hot and then the, it's good to go into the water. No, <laughs> you go to the gym 365 days a year if you want. You can, same with the pool. There are indoor pools everywhere you go. You just have to Google it and find it. Consistency will help you get over your fear of deep water and being underneath the water over time. Consistency will help you get better with your strokes, refining your strokes, improving your stamina, improving your breathing technique and all that, right? It takes time. You can't learn that in one session. Front crawl, for example, a stroke that we do, takes many, 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 many sessions to refine. It's a refining process. For me, it's like, kind of like uh, learning how to bake a cake or learning how to cook something, right? When you cook or when you bake a cake for the first time, is it perfect, absolutely perfect? No, it's never perfect the first time. But when you, when you keep doing the same recipe over and over again, over and over, your cake becomes much better over time. It tastes better, it looks better, the presentation is better. You know exactly how to shape it in your mind before you enter the kitchen. Same with the front crawl. Once you get to a certain point, after so many sessions of consistent effort and work, the time you put into it, you'll know how to do front crawl and you don't even have to think about it. I don't even think about it anymore when I do front crawl. I, my mind can drift off anywhere. You learn it and you refine it and then you forget about it. <laughs> it's that simple. And then you can get to the point where you can just focus on just going past your limits further and further. But that's later on in your journey, okay? When you're first starting out, you need to learn the basics, right? How to make a cake. You need to go through the process of how to the steps involved. It, it won't be done in one session. And guess what? Most of my clients, they come to me after swimming in a pool for like three hours and they say they don't know how to do it they can't get it and I said you only spent three hours trying to do front crawl and most of the time you're just sitting in the water doing nothing or chatting or just sitting on, on a lawn chair come on be honest admit it that's what you were doing because in the beginning when you're learning how to swim or learning how to ride a bike or learning how to bake a cake <clears throat> without the proper guidance it's very frustrating and then there are other cases where I've had like students they come to me and they tell me like they they had a like a, a past traumatic experience like like they're an adult when they're talking to me but like 20 years ago 
one of their friends pushed them in the deep water and they almost drowned and they've had that trauma ever since and they've been avoiding the water ever since and then finally they come to me 20 years later saying that they want to learn how to swim now because now that they have a family they want to protect their children in case of emergencies if they're on vacation or whatever I get it 20 years man Jesus Christ like you would not believe this is like stories that I get from my clients like they've been holding on to this fear for so many years they've been so embarrassed and they just they just put it on the back burner and they just let it like like manifest you can't learn it everything in one session no there's a lot of mechanics involved when you're learning a stroke there's there's a lot of like repetition needed in order to get your breathing properly in the water because Blowing bubbles is not simple as ah, huffing and puffing in the water. No, it takes a lot of refinement, just like baking the cake. You know how to swim, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't take one session. It takes many sessions. Consistency. Most general people, they, they don't focus on consistency. They focus on intensity, right? They just go that one time of the year and they spend three hours in the water and then they give up. And then they do it the next year and then the next year, right? That's not, that's not going to lead you anywhere, okay? You want to build up your progress over time. Three to five sessions in the pool, in the beginning. Lay the bricks, one brick at a time, to build your Roman Empire. That's the, that's the key to success in learning swimming. That's the key that 1% of us understand that succeed in swimming. Consistency. The second part of the equation is poor planning, okay? Or proper planning, okay? A lot of people don't have a good plan when it comes to swimming, unfortunately. What do most people do when they want to learn how to swim? They take swimming lessons. And where do they go to take swimming lessons? Well, they go to their local community center after their kids learn how to swim, then they take up, they sign up for the adult swimming lessons group, which is like consisting of one instructor and like 15 to 20 adults in the class. And those are horrible. I taught those classes and as an instructor myself and a student before that, I used to take those lessons when I didn't know how to swim. They were horrible and they still are. And they are the worst way to learn swimming. If you want to get good at baking a cake, would you rather get one-on-one -on -one training with a, a coach or a teacher that works beside you? Or would you rather be in a group of like 20 students and like the teachers just overall giving instruction, not really focusing on you or like taking a look at your your cake really <laughs> yes swimming lessons are cheap yes it's convenient because it's it's held at the local swimming pool but you get what you pay for and the quality is really really bad if you want quality instruction you need to hire a one-on-one -on -one coach in order to get better a swim coach those kids that you see at those swim clubs they've got the consistency down pat okay because they got to meet up and train like non-stop throughout the week that's one thing for sure consistency that's part of their success but the other part of their success is having a swim coach a swim coach personal swim coach that focuses on them for me it's like a doctor trying to diagnose 20 patients in one room at the same time in less than an hour and you see all these different patients with different symptoms the doctor doesn't have enough time or, or patients or qualifications to handle tackle 20 patients at the same time and that's how I felt being an adult swim instructor teaching these courses at my local pool and that's how I felt as a student at one of these courses before I was a swim instructor it sucked okay so don't take public swimming lessons find a swim coach in your local area if you don't know like where to look or who to ask google it first google local swim clubs in your area look around on Facebook just find that that local coach in your area and sign up get some lessons done with a personal coach is what i recommend and if you can't afford a personal coach because personal coaching is very expensive then find a game plan that works for you whether it's learning from a friend of yours or family member that knows how to swim or just teaching yourself by watching youtube videos like watching my youtube videos or you can sign up for an online course like what I have in 7dayswim.co. That's the game plan that I give you that learns how, teaches you how to swim from A to Z. It's very simple instruction that I lay down. In summary, the reason why 99% of people fail at swimming is because of poor planning and consistency. 
okay? You have to be consistent with your training. You cannot do it once every year in summertime on vacation. No, you got to go in the pool 365 days a year maximum, <laughs> but spend at least like three to five sessions a week at a pool doing the work. What kind of work is involved? Well, you need a good game plan as well, okay? You cannot take swimming lessons at your local pool because that's really poor planning. Consistency and a good game plan will make you successful at swimming. And what is success when it comes to swimming? It's doing one lap from one end of the pool to the other, whether it's back crawl, front crawl, breaststroke, whatever stroke that you want. It doesn't have to be front crawl. That's, everyone looks at front crawl as the go-to, but no. The point is getting from A to B, swimming from one end of the pool to the other. And that's success. I know it doesn't look like much in the, in the grand scheme of things, but once you add it up over time, one lap, then two laps, then three laps, then four, five, the sky is the limit. You can keep going to your heart's delight. How far do you want to take it? And then you look back on your journey and you said, wow, I started from nearly drowning as a kid to being able to, to do the things that I can do now in the water. That's success, my friend. If you really want to learn how to swim, sign up for my online course, 7 swimco Click the link down below to get instant access to the online course that teaches you how to swim from A to Z. And you can join our private Facebook group, which is linked also down below, where we help you out with your swimming, uh, if you have questions or if you have videos to post the, that you want to deconstruct your, your technique and stuff, we can help you out totally for free. So click that link down below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. My name is Justin and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.